Steve. All right. Wake up, wake up, YouTube. <laughs> are you are you cold or something? Every time. <laughs> turn the music off. Don't turn it back up. I'll turn the music back on. Don't worry. Can you turn the music back on? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Yeah, I got a haircut. I know I look good. That's the body right there and there. That's what color it looks like. Just so you guys know. Surprise! Same color as my cars. Uh, we got a lot going on today. Right, buddy? Sure. We also forgot that the choke goes directly right here. Uh, we already figured out how we're going to fix that. We're going to drill a hole through here and make a plate on the body right here for the choke to go through. So it just won't be inserted uh, like it was before, but that's fine. One thing we forgot, easy fix, not a big deal. Plan for this video is wiring everything up. Uh, we got a lot of stuff. Headlights, taillights, underglow kit, finishing up, wiring up the switch panel. We have heated seats, stereo pods, train horn, compressor upstairs somewhere. Got to get it all wired up, so let's get after it. They're a small set of train horns, but mine and Carlton's ears can confirm. They're loud. They're loud. Yeah. They're really loud. Uh, as you guys saw, we put the body on, got that all fit, made sure everything fit up real nice. It's good to go. Now we're fitting the air tank and compressor. Hey, thanks for the donation, by the way. Yeah, You're bad, bad compressor. It's bad. Yeah, I know. It's, I know, dude. It was bad. It Didn't work in your car. I know. I got it. It doesn't work. We don't want to talk about that pop fuse. Anyways, so... There was no pop fuse. <laughs> Fuses don't pop themselves, okay? I know. I know. This is super overkill. This was on Carlton's uh, Audi with the first bag system. Bags. Bags. Air don't care. So, compressor going there. Uh, tank mounting right up a little bit. And it's pretty cool because we have enough room. Uh, we talked about putting the tank on top of the roof at some point in time, but... Everything's gonna fit. I think it'll be kind of cool. Kind of. It'll be like un unsuspecting for people when we hit the train horn, you know, because they won't really see it unless they see it in the front. Oh, we do have to set a port up for uh, arrows. Yes, yes, that's another thing. So tell them what we're doing also. It's a pit vehicle, obviously, so the air is for tires. Yeah. So, you know, we have our and small. For, and for that tire there. And for this tire, yeah, we need it right now. So, yeah, we're gonna have onboard air. Pretty cool. Yeah. Come on, what are you gonna say? No, it's okay. Let's hear it, what are you gonna say? No, you just totally blew off my, what I was saying. Did I miss it? Yeah. What'd you say? I say it's just like me, a little slow, but still works. <laughs>
bunch of stuff has gone on since we last talked. You can change the fuses to whatever amperage you need, but you can only have a max of 60 amps powered at a time. Oh, oh at a time? Yeah. Oh, well, no, that's fine. We should be under that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We need to figure out how many amps those heated seats take. I'm For some reason, I feel like that's a lot. I mean, there's so many inline fuses. Well, there's another inline on the heated seats, too, harness. And the headlight harness. Yeah, I don't believe in amps. Yeah. Uh, brackets. Bracket for the compressor. Brackets for the tank. We made one modification from when you guys sh or saw it hold of us holding it up. <laughs> Dude, my words. Dude. It's been bad lately. I can't speak. I'm talking too fast. <laughs> Anyways, the brackets are actually going on top now instead of below just because it was not enough cushion for the pushing. <laughs> Once we put in the rubber bushings for the tank for vibration, uh, it hit the, the exhaust. So we had a plopper on top, getting it painted, getting it put on. After that, wiring up the train horns and the compressor. It'd be cool if we could blow the train horn tonight. That'd be kind of exciting. That would be like a real good like... That can't happen. Why? We don't have the hoses or anything or the fittings. We do have hoses. We don't. We do. To go all the way up to there? Uh-huh. We can make it work with what we have so we can blow there. No, actually, tank. no, we don't because we don't have the ones for the tank. We could just run the compressor straight, straight to the, the horns. <laughs> So whatever air is in the line is what's going to blow? Mm -hmm. No, we, no, we yeah. can do it right now. We should show them. Can we show them? Oh, no, we have to... No, you still can. We need a little battery. Oh, my gosh. You guys want to hear how loud it is? I guess we'll show you. Please hold. You guys ready to see this? What do you want? Which one do you want to do? I'll let you do that one. It's it's honestly so loud. I'd rather have earplugs in, but... It should be charged, up, right? <laughs> Steady. Sound that works. Scared? No, it's just so loud. Be scared. You gonna do like one Be big scared. one? Yeah. Go. <laughs> Dude, that's so loud. Oh man. It's so stupid. It's gonna be so much fun. It's so though. stupid you put it on a golf cart. <laughs> It's so awesome. Gotta have a train horn. I mean, come on, my ears are ringing, dude. Stupid in a good way. <laughs> hey, watch out at the track. Get the f out of my way. That's all I gotta say. Dude, we're gonna drive it <laughs> over to the racetrack and at the train track. <laughs> just sit blow behind it. someone and f blow it. <laughs> I can't wait. I wanna drive it during DriftCon through the crowd. <laughs> Oh man, this thing's gonna be too much fun. Every time I go up to the spot for you, that'll be what I Deal. Deal. Oh man, I love this build. I've had so much fun. The videos aren't doing very well, but we're having a blast, dude. This thing's been fun. Speak for yourself. I'm having a terrible time. <laughs> Shut up. No, you're not. So while we were waiting for our brackets to dry, we decided to put all the buttons on. That's pretty cool. And this switch panel's really rad, so it's got a momentary button. And of course, the train horn, you don't want it to stay on the whole time. Dude, we should have made it start with a push button. I know. Would have been sick. We could have, too. Yeah, could have. That's all right. So now, we have them all set up. Uh, far left is going to be your headlights, light bar, underglow. Cube lights are the only thing we don't have currently, but plan to put them on the overhead rack, which is over there. And then you got left-hand side, driver heated seat, train horn, air compressor, passenger side heated seat. Pretty cool. That's good. I'm happy with it, dude. That's like, for $100, Black Friday sale. That's a pretty good switch panel. Yeah, it's a good switch panel for what you're trying to do, you know, something small. Yeah. Even, honestly, even in a, in a race car, I mean, not like a pro spec yeah. car, but like, if you ripped all the wiring out of your missile car and needed a switch panel, I would say it'd be sufficient enough. Yeah, it'd do the job. Yeah. The only thing is it says it has uh, relays built into the um, control, but... Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know <laughs> yeah. how that works, but whatever. You may be wondering why I'm wearing flip-flops and kind of walking like with a limp. <laughs> 
Okay, to be fair, to be fair, <laughs> you said you said you saw the couch move. No, the couch took its foot out. <laughs> the goddamn couch stuck its foot out while I was walking by, and I stubbed my pinky toe. It was the worst stub of of my life. <laughs> So worst stuff yeah exactly like i was actually in pain and um yeah after i got done crying and pulling half my toenail out of the side of my toe and the skin off the front of my toe um yeah we're in flip-flops and all bandaged up so my toesies are gonna be a little cold <laughs> well uh don't know where we left off but I'll give you a quick summary. Tried to run the compressor, which Carlton did say was bad, but it still worked. And it fried our fuse box. We think. We think. Pretty sure. We're hoping. Fingers crossed. Toes New, crossed. <laughs> yeah, toes crossed. New fuse box going in. Compressor coming out. Bracket that I spent an hour and a half making coming out. <laughs> it wasn't an hour and a half. It was only like half an hour. Uh, new compressor and it's black, which is cool. And it's uh, needs a new bracket because it is longer. So that part kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Getting the compressor done, wiring up the horn, doing all that tonight, getting the tank all finished up. So trying to get that finished tonight and then we're good to go. Uh, a couple other goodies we got was uh, this. We got speaker wire for the speakers. We got a quick release for the steering wheel. Pretty cool. Standard black aluminum quick release. So I've got that. And then we got some pod lights. So pod lights for the back of the um, rack. So that's the plan. Get this done tonight and see if it works. All right, I got the new plate made. Basically same exact plate uh, width. It's just a little bit longer and had to drill a th few new holes in the frame. To rivet nut it, uh, Carlton got the tank in 100%. So as you can see on this side, we have our quick disconnect for the air hose. We have a plug in that one. Uh, there's not one on the bottom here. Is there one on the top? Not here. Top here, we have a plug. Uh, back one here, we have a pressure switch. So that way the compressor knows when the tank is at 150 PSI and it will shut off the compressor. Uh, over here is a dash four and that is for the horn. So that's an airline AN line That's gonna go straight to the horn uh, Have this one here, but it's not quite long enough. I did a test fit Doesn't fit so I've got to get a longer one tomorrow and then on the bottom side here Is this fitting and that is the fitting that goes To the compressor and the compressor already has this nice black line on it. So I'm not gonna take that off We're gonna keep that and use that line so that's it for that. Carlton's working on getting the wiring checked out. Uh, we are putting in a inline relay for the compressor just for extra added pleasure. <laughs> we don't want any issues. Um, you know, the compressors draw, it's really, they don't really draw that much, right? But isn't it like, didn't it say like 27 amps or something? The other one was 30 amps. Yeah, and this one was less, right? 26 24 something it's not the 16 one, yeah either way i want here i'll tell you right now it's 23 amps so but how we look at it is either way we just don't want to run into any issues right it's kind of just added in insurance is that what we're thinking yeah sure yeah sure so working on that and i'm going to run inside and come back out and mount that here in a little bit Still got to wire up the horn, but it's wired like this for now so we can test some things. We're having a little bit of an issue with it that we're hoping isn't going to be an issue down the road, but we'll see. Is it still hooked up? It is, so I can show them. So, when you turn the key, listen for this solenoid. So the solenoid is turning on because this fuse box right now has 0 0.6 volts, 0 0.06 volts. 
So right now this fuse box has 0.06 volts and it's enough for this 12 volt solenoid to kick off and fire off. Right there, you can see on the bottom of it. 12 volt. No, yeah, I see what you're saying. So it's a little bit of an issue and we will dig into that when it comes time. Kind of sucks, but I think that we can figure it out. All right, back to work. Compressor is in. We need a zip tie. Do you think we should zip tie it to the, to the, uh, what do you call it, wheel well? It's a plastic piece? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh. We'll figure that out. We just gotta zip tie that hose out of the way. It's fully in though, tightened down on the tank and compressor side. Compressor's in, relay is in. Uh, reason why it's going right here is because we need a pressure switch wire and we need a wire from the compressor and in so wiring will be all tucked nice up in there somehow some way we'll figure it out cool some way or another some way or another so yeah looks good just because we have it we're gonna put this in too sweet triple there's gonna be a relay triple fuse there's gonna be a relay two fuses that way it can't get to the switch panel yeah Get another box. box yeah. Even though the switch panel got and the fuse didn't blow. So yeah, much. we don't know how that happened, yeah. but that's okay. All right, that's it for tonight. See you tomorrow.